What is up, you guys? Welcome to Otaku Podcast number 34. Back, as always, with Josh and Jose. How you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. I'm actually impressed you didn't say 33 because it was on the loop. <laughs> <laughs> There's behind the scenes topic. Every time we sit down to record the podcast, uh, what number are we on? <laughs> yep. and I, I, you were saying it and I was like repeating it in my head. I'm like 33. Oh, Sam, you fucked up. Sometimes Wait. we're really accurate. It's like, oh. 33, 100%. Yeah, 34. Last week was this one, this one, yep. this one. And then and it's like, no, actually, <laughs> it's supposed to be 34. So yeah. you guys, anything new and exciting since we last spoke? Uh, Yeah, there's been a few things. You put together Ooh. a bunch of glass display cabinets? Yeah, uh, we're still working on the upstairs unboxing <laughs> yeah. section. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to do this thing on the weekends called sleep in. <laughs> and Sam likes to do this thing like hold people accountable. <laughs> and They it don't just, go well together, let me not tell work. you. Uh, I remember waking up at three in the afternoon <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll that be over sleeping in. Holy shit. That's well, your whole day. I normally like fucking I've been staying up to like six in the morning because my sleep schedule is all jacked. And uh, yeah, I remember waking up and I, t- I think Matthew had messaged me or something. He's like, oh, I need to mount my TV. So I was like, yeah, yeah. I'll be over. And he's like, what time? I was like, mm, you need that done today. <laughs> oh, um, I think it was. What time are you coming over to build the glass display cabinets? Because I also need to get my TV Something mounted. Something like that could have nice. been easily Because that was already to... committed to. So. Yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I said maybe like 5, 5.30. And then it got to be 5. And I went, oh, my God. Um, and I had a bunch of stuff to do. And mm-hmm. I basically had a full meltdown in my room. And I just messaged the two of them like, I'm just going to show up whenever. <laughs> and it's going to be 3 a.m. And I'm going to be building the fucking glass cases. You're just going to have to I accept it. I think you showed up at about... Midnight thirty? No, I showed up at midnight thirty. Yeah, to ten. I want to say ten. You were 10 here 30. till one thirty. I was here till two thirty. Yeah. <laughs> it was. You were here a long no, time. It was three. Yeah, Jesus. I was here from ten thirty to three. Because we had to run to Sonics before it closed at two. Yeah. Oh, so, nice, nice. How yeah. to make sure you guys had no, the snacks and everything? No, closes at three. You're just getting all the numbers wrong. Well, I don't know how you even got on the Google. It says two. On Google that night, it said three. Okay, so maybe well. it's like on weekends mm-hmm. or yeah. something. But yeah, it was at three. It was two twenty, or no, it was one thirty at that time. Yeah. And I was like, "Hey, bud, like I'm starving. I ate like breakfast, and mm-hmm. I went to, I, you know, like, the, and breakfast was at four in the afternoon. Yikes! Gotta go get that. And then you know, Sam is joining the the diet crew. Which, yep. you know, calorie counting. You know, I'm very proud of him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I had to give up my biscuit from KFC today, dude. It just didn't fit I in. was like, <laughs> it just didn't fit in the calories. <laughs> it just I, hurt so I, bad. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this. So thing. Jose had two biscuits and I had oh, zero. You had, wait, did you? Go, oh. Oh, I was good. I was no. waiting to have Popeyes <laughs> after this. Oh no, uh, we didn't did know. Did you guys go to KFC? No, no. You went to Popeyes <laughs> without me. <laughs> we went to KFC. Yeah. <laughs> still hurt yeah. that's gonna be the peak and post some people show up early and some people show up right on the fucking time they were well, told and yeah. normally it's really like five minutes after mm-hmm. i don't know what to tell you sorry dude yeah. Yeah. okay well um happy for you and your diet <laughs> Uh, he lost five pounds, by the way. Really? Yeah. yeah. I told you, my, dude. My weight's been all over the place. Cause, like, an example is, uh, so the first couple of days it was like no change, no change, which is pro- probably pretty yeah. normal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I weighed myself yesterday, and I went up a pound. Ooh. Okay. And I weigh myself at the same time, like right when I wake up, I take my piss, I get on the scale. As uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. I agree <laughs> so, with that. So, I agree. Yeah, with weight that. will fluctuate yeah. like mm-hmm. that. But yeah. So I went up a pound, and I've been eating way less than I normally eat. Way. I less. think we we had a discussion because there there's a story about Sonics that yeah. we'll get into, but we basically did some of the math, and we're estimating Sam was anywhere between three and four thousand calories yeah. a day. What are you at today? What do you have? Uh, uh, I right now I'm at about sixteen fifty calories. Okay, for, you've for the- dropped already. Because I remember you said it was like 1,700 or was it well, 1,650? that's just before? how much I have. I'm not going to have anything else. So yeah. okay. that's all the calories I have for today. So my max that I'm allowed to have, I think, is 1,740. That's oh, okay. that's the max. Like if I really optimize it, 1,740 is what I'm supposed to hit. But, you know, I kind of just go with, you know. Go with the yeah, flow. Yeah, you get it lunch, around there. I don't have a snack anytime throughout the day. So lunch and dinner. And then I'll have, like, I drink a lot of water already. Yeah. yeah. And then if I also do, like, the sparkling water. But that's, like, zero everything. So, yeah, it, like that, calorie that's wise. a health thing yeah, at that yeah. point rather than anything. So yeah, I think you're fine. I just do that. So that, that like that's all I have. So I just do like I'll do like a relatively late lunch, like maybe like one or two. Mm-hmm. And then dinner kind of breakfast time. Yeah. Well, dinner kind of whenever. And then uh, that kind of rides me out till the end. So, you know what what people call that in the diet? Mm-hmm. Ex- uh, it's called intermittent fasting. There you go. Um, you wake up at what eight or nine in the morning. 
Um, it depends when I go to bed now. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, at least I mean, like, full eight hours. Yeah. You, you don't eat until one or noon or one. Yeah. 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 If you wake up anywhere between like eight and ten, and you didn't really eat anything that late, you're probably intermittent fasting. Mm-hmm. Which I think is one of the keys. Well, that intermittent you and fasting Matthew... isn't it just like you just have to eat, you only eat within the eight hours? So yeah, it's a... yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It, it 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 could be whatever you wanted. Yeah. It, I've been doing it since hours. I was fourteen. Yeah, and I think that's how the three of you, in per se, like you, Matthew, and Jose, have yep. stayed in relative shape, where I is. I've just ballooned up because yeah, we've never really done breakfast. Either. I hate yeah. like, breakfast. We just I just get right cannot, past yeah. that shit, and then just lunch and dinner. But then yeah. it's like you know, fuck ton of snacks. So yeah, no, like when you yeah. equate it to just that, you've been having two thousand calorie meals every <laughs> yeah. meal. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we we're talking about. So when I sometimes when we go to Sonics, you know, more often than not, I'll get like a fuck ton of grilled cheese, like three or four. And yeah. what do we figure out? The calorie for the grilled cheese a pop was like three thirty or like you something highly like four, four, uh, just under four hundred, just under four hundred. Oh. So I was having four of them. Okay, and, <laughs> and a medium uh, blast. Not, yeah, he, he's trying to be, you know, like somewhat self conscious about it. Just like, you know, a medium. Not I a got large. a medium the past, like, probably few months. Uh, yeah, no, you definitely. It was a large blast. Then it was like the large. It was too the much. The large blast is too much, you guys. That's too much. Yeah, and, you know, so during COVID, we, we had this conversation. There's not many places open. I think maybe yeah. it wasn't the last podcast we actually talked yeah. about. It. So Sonics has just gotten so much patronage from us. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, um, yep. I remember the first time we went there, it was like, Sam, what would you rate that? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. We were five actually pretty out of excited 10? to be That was, like, there. not that Yeah, great. we were excited to go. We went and unanimously, like eh. a five. <laughs> yeah. It was just, like, the most like, across-the-board I think meh. the exact review was, it's all right. I would never want to go there. But it's, it's like, fucking yeah. low and but, behold. But that I would eat right. there if I had to. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, what what options do you want? I mean, there's McDonald's. No, I had that for lunch yeah. today. Del Taco. Nobody eats that except for Josh and not even anymore. <laughs> yeah. Taco Bell. They're not open. That yeah. late. It's just they, they're always. We get a lot me. of mileage out of Sonics yeah. because yeah. it's like everybody can get something there. So it works out really well. Yeah. And I mean, like I take you guys there and yeah. I'll just get like an iced tea because like yeah. nothing on that menu is keto unless I get it bunless, which that reminds me <laughs> to the night we were building these beautiful displays not right. these the ones upstairs you'll see eventually uh, yeah well they're there fucking <laughs> yeah Ugh. um but yeah i went there i had like a small breakfast i think it was like eggs bacon and chip, like cheese like normal mm. just like so he wasn't sp- intermittent fasting this day yeah no i stopped intermittent <laughs> fasting because it just wasn't it wasn't i wasn't sleeping properly were you just ju- getting super hungry by the time like no like well between keto and the fact that like my stomach has shrunk with the amount of food i'm eating um i just like i literally have only had a coffee today i just go for acai bowls for lunch now that's well, ass i love acai bowls <laughs> i don't yeah acai is like cool it's a health food i don't like it i love it it's superfoods so what josh was gonna say is when we went to sonics after we built oh. the glass display cases josh yeah. ordered about four thousand calories worth of burgers hold up what no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> okay so i'm on keto they're on calorie counting yeah i am so not on key, any diet for the record key difference and well, you're kind of doing both right like kind of i'm doing both yeah. i was doing intermittent fast and keto yeah. uh calorie counting damn I, well, it, well, it works. One works yeah, with yeah, the other. Yeah, like yeah. once you start keto, you start having like weight or like appetite loss, and then you can do intermittent fasting, and then vice versa. If you did intermittent fasting, you can do keto because it's easier. You have like more room for your macros, it, and then calorie counting just works really well with it. Um, but Sam goes and he's just like, I was like, dude, I'm starving. I haven't eaten since like fucking whatever. It's been 12 hours since I ate. I think was basically what I was saying. Mm-hmm. Like. Sam, don't judge me. I'm going to get two burgers. And I get, it was like the super double cheesy bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it's a very long name. Like, <laughs> Sonic's keep... Deluxe Double Bacon Cheeseburger Blitz. <laughs> like, what's the name of it? I'm like, I honestly don't know how you don't get it that it's a super Sonic Double, t- <laughs> double Cheeseburger or some shit like that. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, I'm going to get two of them. And I get them with just the burger, the cheese, and the, ba- or the bacon. Mm-hmm. I ate the lettuce. <laughs> the lettuce isn't worth it. The tomato wasn't worth it. Mm-hmm. I forgot they had onions and pickles. I don't like those all that much. I'll eat them, but like Sonics isn't the place I would eat them at. Like mm-hmm. it's not a high quality burger where I'm enjoying those things. Mm-hmm. Don't grilled like onions. Oh, grilled onions. You'll, we'll get to that in just a minute, Jose. Don't you worry. <laughs> it hurts so fucking bad. So I'm like, don't judge me. I order that. Get my large iced, uh, unsweetened iced tea. I've got my fucking sweeteners that I brought with me. And Sam is just, mm, 
<laughs> well, did you know that one of these super bacon double cheeseburgers is 1,200 calories? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, And he well, got two. And Damn. I was like, yeah. uh, Sam, is that without the bun? He's like, oh, no, that's with bun. And I was like, <laughs> I bun. can guarantee you. And then Josh is like, well, it's like knock four, off about half because of the uh, 400 is what I said. And I was like, well, uh-huh. Matthew has buns here for his chicken patties, like uh, the chicken patty sandwich thing. Which and really, I know for a fact that the calories for buns are like only 150 calories or something like that. It was that. like 200 yeah. and he mm. fucked me with that one. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not having the tomato and I'm having the lettuce and all that stuff. And you know, like, yeah, I'm losing yeah, some should calories. Should have just made it a lettuce wrap. I had established, and I, Sam is, he joined a cult. <laughs> he fucking, he's like, let me see your stats, bro. What, what is it? <laughs> your what, logs. Your logs. Gonna, let me see your logs. I'm going to need to see your logs after that, so sir. I, I fucking have to show him what I ate for the day. Yeah. And I had, what did I, what did I tell you? I had like, I think I had only consumed about maybe yeah, you didn't consume 200, much. 300 calories. Yeah. Oh, no, I had like 800. Yeah. I had 800. I had 700 calories. That's right. I had 800 left, and I could have had one burger, and we could have quietly gone away. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just like, no, I'm, like, starving. <laughs> so I get that, and it's, like, this greasy mess. I show up. Matthew's in the hot tub. Sam's immediately ratting me out to Matthew. <laughs> nice. Because I'm doing it to, like, meme, and Matthew's doing it to legitimately be, like, mm, disappointed. Let, let me see your logs. Like, uh, like, it was just, oh, you it, follow in your diet today? Dude, <laughs> it, was, it was rough. And I go and get some ketchup, and I'm like, this is like a tablespoon. Yeah. And I'm eating it, and halfway through, this is where the grilled onions come in. Matthew's like, you know, In-N-Out was open. You could have just gone down. And it's literally across the street. Yeah. yeah. I almost cried because I was eating those burgers. It's not good. They're not good. Yeah, two of them. I, I didn't. <laughs> That's the other problem. I paid for two. And they I ate one. the first one, and I was halfway through the first one, and I was about to cry because I was like, they're right. <laughs> I can't eat this. Either my body, which is very possible, it's very yeah. reactive, was bullied <laughs> <laughs> into not eating that second hamburger, or my stomach has shrunk, which is probably the more likely case. Yeah. But which is I'm a good a cons- thing. Though. Yeah, I yeah, think that's... I want to say they bullied you. But yeah, yeah. I yeah. I think it was a combination of both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was eating it, and I, I ate like the bacon from the second Josh, one. As your friend, I'm just trying to look out for your health. Yeah, well, as your guys' friend, I'm proud of both of you. you know? I'm, you proud, I'm very yeah. proud of bo- all, all three been of you. Really proud of Sam. Not a fucking peep out of me. <laughs> they were proud of Matt. Josh, there was a whole week where everybody was like, "Wow, 55 pounds." Oh that was God. because it was a meme. <laughs> <laughs> it was Matthew. Was like, they still said it. They were like, "Oh damn, Matthew, you lost a lot of weight." I'm like, "Yeah, I lost you know, yeah, 55 that's true. pounds too." I've always been yeah. fat, and they're like, "Okay, yeah, cool, fucking chilling." And then when Danny wants attention from yeah. me. Wow, 55 I, pounds? I saw, an <laughs> older, no. I saw an older podcast, um, like one of the early ones when we were still upstairs. Mm-hmm. You do look way better. Yeah, now. yeah. it is crazy. Yeah. And I, with the amount that me Think and about Matthew it, it's been about, less than a year. I started and you, whoa. in mid-January. That's fine. Uh, you can just hit it. Nice. Evie, <laughs> this is the fucking career... <laughs> Oh, it, it's always a little backside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're replacing you. Um, but yeah, no, like especially because like when I got sick that the first week, I lost twenty two oh, pounds. I saw the weight loss. I lost fifteen pounds that fucking it week, was, dude. I was co- if if I that died. was COVID, if that genuinely was COVID that we had, you know, one we're fucked. Two, um, holy shit, great weight loss technique. Just absolutely yeah, great. Yeah, just Pair sleep and one sweat other. it out. Sleep and sweat it out. You fucking won't eat. You guys are in dangerous territory here. Hey. Guys, COVID is great. Get no, it? No. Lose weight. No. <laughs> Quote no. Josh and Jose. I, oh, this no, is going to be I turning. never said it was great. He the, said it was the great. Liberal I said media is going to eat this one out. Nope. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That That's a whole other fucking yeah. We try not to get to, into that realm, but yeah. No, like I see it with Matthew, like it blows me away, and like all he check. just got below two hundred, I think today. Nice, holy That's shit! That's insane. Yep. So for reference, I'm a flat six. I think I've measured myself at like five eleven, three quarters, six feet on tenders. Sam six, six five, five. You... five nine, five nine, and Matthew Lewis is five ten, and Danny's five. Lewis. I don't know what Matthew is six two, six two. Yeah. So lo and behold, like an inch is like ten or fifteen <laughs> pounds worth of difference because Sam yeah. is actually. What you're heavier than me technically, yeah. 
Yeah. Right now, yeah. and I look fatter, and you're only yeah. five, five inches taller than me. Height does a it's lot. A height, and dude. it yeah. like when you said your calorie count, I was like, he doesn't look like he's gained. Like if you thought if you knew us back in high school, yeah. like Matthew was a fucking twig. You can see yeah, some Matthew old high really school slim in high school. We're all really, really skinny. Yeah, it's. Scary. I had to be skinny yeah. though. I've always yeah. been fat, but when I look back, it's like, oh damn, I wasn't actually that bad. Yeah. But yeah, I've. It's definitely weird because, yeah, like Jose said, I I started in mid-January. Like, we all had the metabolism of gods back in Yeah, we, like, we did, still kind of do. We were just chilling. Dude, do you remember how much I would eat when we would go to Taco Bell? Yeah. Uh, oh. five you crunchy remember how tacos, much Lewis would eat when we would go oh, to Taco yeah, Bell? dude. Lewis would eat more than you me. You sort like half the fucking menus. Like, yeah. you just go wild. <laughs> Like he get like twelve tacos or something. He's like when we go like before Chris. a party pack existed, he would get yeah, a party get pack of tacos. tacos. Yeah, really? Yeah, he yeah. would. Because I, I would eat, hang out. With I would eat much five tacos school. and a quesadilla and my soda. And that's it was it. insane. Do well, you remember Jose? I think did we get picked up by your mom or Lewis's mom in her van? Lewis's mom. mom. And I it think. was raining. We packed about like six of us into the van. Lewis's mom. And it was fogging up the windows yeah, on the yeah. vans, and we couldn't see outside, and we're yeah. driving in the rain to Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, that, that was shit Lewis. was scary. I almost could guarantee you, Lewis and his mom did not give a fuck. No, no, no they did they not. They were way those it. to drive. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know how more people haven't been murdered. <laughs> It's just like I've seen Lewis in that mm-hmm. van doing like 80 down beach. Yeah. And you're like, you may kill someone someday. And he's just like, oh, no. And like a door will fall off of that van. And he's just That's like, cool. ah, shit. Dude, they that... were planning on making it a Jeep I always anyways. remember that shit, man. It was like, fuck, I don't know how we're not dying here. It's like, oh, when you hit like the speed you bump? You can't see out the front window. It's oh, like, I don't know how she's nah. driving. The speed bump was something else. It's like, All we're right. just going straight towards Taco Bell. But no problem. It's like, no, yeah, it... it's raining. It's steamy inside. But, you know, fuck it. Yeah, they didn't even turn on the defroster. <laughs> no, they didn't give two fucks. It was some wild shit. You had like, were you, were you genuinely off. scared? Yeah, you had like ESP or something working that car. Like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's like it's like that one Family Guy bit where it's like, good luck everybody, and then just sh- I turn Yeah, boy, that's but, exactly what it was like. See, I don't I don't count my eating in Taco Bell. Mine is what a lot of pizzas. I used to be able to eat a whole what a lot. Yeah, of we did used to be able to eat a whole one. I can only time. eat four slices. So. This this brings me back. So uh, today's Monday. Uh, yesterday yeah. was Father's Day. Yay! Um, happy birthday to all the fathers. Did you break? Did I see? I need to see your I logs did, for tomorrow. I did break or for yesterday. I did break yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Which there's a bittersweet note after the fact. So <laughs> honestly, this is just Josh's fucking journal nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we broke yesterday. So in between last podcast and this one, my aunt passed away. So that was my dad's sister, and my grandpa passed away in the last year. So we were super close. And we have a family restaurant. Well, Dominico's is out in. Belmont Are you taking that over? No, it's not our family restaurant. Oh, I apologize. no! Oh. Every time I say that, I wish yeah. part of me. Like, I was we, gonna wow. say, dude, cool, like, wow. dude. Uh, dude, I would have been working there. Yeah, fucking way that quicker. would be cool. I wonder if I wouldn't want to work in the restaurant business if we had owned a restaurant. Yeah, I, I really I think want you would to, hate it, but I don't. I, yeah, you I love think, to cook, but yeah, I think yeah. it's this, the I, business side might be really mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, and they're like a family-owned restaurant, but yeah. my grandpa was going there. My grandpa passed it. Like, I, I, he's gonna hate me. 86 maybe your grandma's gonna use grandpa dead. all well my <laughs> you know let's be honest it's i'll be probably seeing him pretty fucking soon so yeah. but uh he, he was old and mm. so he's been going there since he was a kid my family kind of grew up in long beach so um and my dad's kind of like not doing well he oh has, so you guys don't own this restaurant no we do not no, 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 family no, no, restaurant no. as in it's they like go we there all we've been going there yeah. like my grandpa's got been it, going got there it, got it got my it got dad, it got it yeah, yes sorry and uh so we go there every once in a while uh, when my grandpa passed, we went there. Um, so you went there again. And yeah, we, we picked up. You guys are soon not going to go to this restaurant except anytime somebody dies. We'll, we'll go for like birthdays. So it's like the, the thing. But yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, I thought it was Mario's. Domenico's, the restaurant of birthdays and deaths. Come on through. I've gone there a few times. <laughs> Actually, so we, me and my younger sister, uh, yeah. Jess, the, the fucking lesbian yeah. that screwed lesbian me over. Lesbian version the last, of you. The lesbian version of me. Yeah. yeah. The one that's better at everything. <laughs> Dude, yes. the better Kaiser. Um, so she uh she and i hadn't gone we used to hate that restaurant mm-hmm. because we would always get the, the breadsticks were like ass yeah we'd always get like the last pick on the the pep uh, the pizza and they do it weird the cheese goes on top of the dough and then it's sauce on top interesting um, no thanks interesting. it really doesn't do much for it <laughs> their dough is not all that great but it's yeah. like it's cool it's good yeah. um but we hated it like absolutely hated it turns out we were getting dicked on by all of our, all of our older siblings we're one of six or two of six mm-hmm. the two of us so there's soft bread. They've always had the focaccia bread. We never got that. They had like ground pepperoni and all this stuff. 
we didn't see the light of day of any of these things because we weren't old enough to talk or we weren't. Wait, I don't get we, it. So we they didn't basically get, we just didn't get to choose. Yeah, We've they didn't been get going to pick there for anything. so long. We always hated the restaurant. We're like, yeah. oh, we have to go to Dominico's. Jessica decided, you know, I'm going to go. So she went, found out it's super good, then told me to go. So we went. And I was like, fuck, this is amazing. The food's great. So we've been we go more often now. I don't obviously. So they've just it. been ordered. So they like your family would come in. They would order. Food we would for the whole 20 group. Twenty people would come yeah. in. We'd order like five pizzas, like so three or they four. They were f- fucking up the pizza somehow. No, no my siblings my would siblings, get first dibs. Yeah, so they were so just getting the scraps basically. Yeah, uh, we would okay. whatever they didn't want, which was the the dry ass yeah. breadsticks and like cheese pizza. We would get okay. And you know, I didn't like the salad because I didn't like the dressings at the time and. I had no idea. They had always given us minestrone soup. I hate that shit. Yeah. Um, they had tomato bisque, and it's fucking Oh, phenomenal. I love tomato bisque. It is so good there. And I found out, like, within the last three years that they've had that. So, but yeah. So, basically, my dad's not doing all that well. Um, he's, you know, Do we like, make a reservation at Dominico's? No. We, <laughs> That's we fucked. Up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Of the Otaku Dude. Podcast number 34, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oof. You're one of the, this group Got is him. so fucked up. <laughs> but I think if you made that joke to down. my dad, he would have cracked the fuck yeah. up. I'd calm down. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's funny. Um, <laughs> that was a good one, Sam. It just flew right over him. But yeah, we 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 were trying to. God, I gotta fucking keep walking after this. <laughs> it's uh, like being shot in the leg. <laughs> and it's just like, you were going. <laughs> um but yeah he so he wasn't doing too good we wanted to cheer him up and uh my sister had my sister likes to plan like everything she'll do all it she bought me the card i'm not comfortable with that she she does a great job i'm terrible at it um so she she does all that stuff for us and she'll she went and bought a uh, birthday cake or like a, not a birthday cake, an ice cream cake got me cards to sign for him i built one of these things and oh I, for your uncle no for my dad oh yeah um we so covid's a thing so we were going to try to see our aunt before she passed because she wasn't doing well yeah. before she passed but like we're trying not yeah you wouldn't want to be the reason why she passed you know? it was, yeah yeah it was like really hey difficult. we wanted to see you really quick like oh one of you had covid so yeah. and she's Yikes. been bad for a while like she, yeah. so she had uh i believe it was lymphoma so it was like a form of cancer so she was out of it was in remission and then she went back into it and she kind of just like Chemo's rough on you, so she just didn't want to do it. She was doing like homeopathy or uh, like the home therapy. So stuff. she chose to not do it anymore. Is that how she died? Pretty much. And I think she just kind of lost. Like she started getting yeah, sick. Too much. And she yeah. kind of lost it. And um, so, you know, my dad felt bad because, you know, he, he wasn't there, but it's like you couldn't have really been there. We were doing the right thing by yeah. not going out. Yeah. But so it was bittersweet. But basically, we were trying to cheer him up. And my sister's like, we go over to Dominico's, go pick it up. Went and picked it up. And I was like, you know what? I had my keto breakfast and I was like, you know, just fuck it. Like I'm, I'm at two twenty five. This is like the oh, lightest. I've ever, yeah, this is the lightest I've ever been. You're in my, legit like, at life. You're legit at perfect of wrestling and fighting heavyweight. <laughs> no, that's why a we good keep it on, on the, the bright side of everything. Why that's a great thing. <laughs> Our resident <laughs> fuck it because yeah, me and him. But that would be cool. I should probably. I've been. I know me and Matt talked about doing like boxing or something. Yeah, just getting back into like because I. Do you I think he would beat Matthew in a boxing match? No. Dude, me and him? No, I think he's got I think reach. Matthew's he's got the reach. And I think well, he's he's smarter. If you he get, just hit under 200, though, so you, you have 20 pounds on him. No, oh, if you get no, the smarter. body shot at the right angle, like right here, usually like around the ribs, you can you can probably bring a Matthew down pretty well. So I'm I'm good at, and this will never be displayed in the channel because it, it just can't be brought up. I'm good at thinking things through and like <laughs> developing stuff. Sam laughs. I, I let I'm not good at on the spot thinking and providing oh, I, I, witty feedback that way. I can make jokes. My way of thinking is yeah, not that let good. Let him sit down and work on a sink for a couple hours. He's got you. He's got so you guys. Just break it. You, <laughs> yeah. you can be a comedian. Yeah, this is Josh level thinking. Oh, I can't figure out this plan. What am I going to do? What if I just break it? <laughs> Has like, it not worked? <laughs> no, it's worked every it's time. Worked every yeah. fucking time. Like, I cannot for the life of me get this screw off. What if I just break it? <laughs> Get the most high power drill that you own. It plugs into a wall and you were terrified using it the entire time because it has a handle. Blow through that shit and you're good. And yeah, it works every time. It's calculated. <laughs> yeah, okay. But um, Matthew is very like light on his feet in the terms of thinking. And it, like I, I know he says he's bad at chess. His concept of just thinking things through 
he derails me. I get flustered in the moment. <laughs> that man can beat the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> if Damn. it's boxing, I would yeah. say he'd beat me. If it was like know. MMA and it wasn't like calculating, it was more just. Oh, like so you're thinking forward. if you could take him to the ground, you would win? I'd win. Yeah, I'd be both I, I of you. Think yeah, there was, I would think it would be more advantageous. Yeah, yeah, I would not fight Jose. Yeah. He's yeah. fucking dirty. Yeah. I We were wrestling in the pool the other day, me and Matthew, and he he's strong. I, I'm not strong in the sense you guys have so much more leverage. It's not just like height doesn't Is it just the allow height that for helps him out or like that extra 15 pounds or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Marco I, Polo champion right here. So. They were throwing people <laughs> into Marco, dude. I'm sitting there like, yeah. oh, it'd be funny to push all of a sudden fucking like slender man turns around <laughs> and you're screaming and he just yeets you into this guy that's going yeah. Marco. he did show me holy <laughs> shit it is i i wasn't gonna Sam, die i was I, about to pick your ass up yes the other it, day too. it took lewis and chris to, to both you. like to toss grab you, me yeah. and throw me in the marco pole i think you're just you, slippery dude yeah, you're I a think there's a level of determination in the black and ships it's um dirty grit <laughs> yeah whereas the rest of us are like i don't want to hurt my friend yeah. that might hurt they will rip your fucking arm off to throw you out <laughs> just yeah. so that they win marco Polo. i wish danny was there that would have been funny yeah oh, no he would have nah, been, been so mad at <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Lewis like, and Sam. it would have been lewis and danny the entire game marco okay you're it danny okay you're it lewis <laughs> because it would have just been throwing people into them yeah. it yeah. was so fucked yeah, if Danny was even an easy target to throw. And yeah. and he's, he's the buffest of yeah. us. I think he's the one that works out the most. most in the water, though, it's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's tiny. Yeah, he's, he's tiny. Not, he's not really have, fast in the water. I think it's because I'm fat. Fat <laughs> is lighter in, uh, in water. Which is actually... So that was one other crazy thing. I was... Normally, I used to just float naturally. Mm -hmm. I still I'm actually float. able to go underwater and, like, chill <laughs> and not immediately float up. And I was like, oh, this is I could never float. I still I can't float. Yeah, float. like, I don't get it. So And a lot of times, like, oh, just hold your breath or, like, you know, so you get all the stomach yeah. air, and then you should just float, but it never works. I just sink. Like it's I can do it, but I just don't know how to float on my back. I think once again, I'm just irregularly made. Yeah. So I, I think it's a combination of lack of fat that you used to have. Yeah. I don't think you've tried floating in a while, no. but having fat definitely helps because it's lighter than the water or more Tits. buoyant. Uh, I don't recommend those. <laughs> um, the holding the breath and then it's like balance like getting because like i could still have difficulty yeah. like i would fall through but yeah getting your feet in the right position i love floating can you tread water yeah yeah i, I mean it's not fun <laughs> i'd fucking die after a while but i mean like i, I just want to know because like I, i've always, i've never been able to just kind of keep myself above water for too long i have to be constantly moving uh yeah oh so you can't stand in place and just keep yourself up like if you're saying if it was like an oh, yeah, eight foot I, pool yeah like i have a, i have a hard time thing. like i'll do it for like about a minute or two and then i'm like nope gotta gotta go oh, horizontal yeah. and then start swimming. well yeah it's exhausting but yeah it's like, yeah you yeah, can do you, it yeah i can if you say like a minute or two that's i think i'm about equipped for that as anyone um but yeah no you just got to do that thing where it's like they put the air inside of your jeans. You take your jeans yeah. off and you know, oh, use nice. it as like a flotation yeah. device. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, man versus wild. Yeah. I'm getting really stressed. What are we doing next podcast? <laughs> we're, go we're going Jose's out into the mountain. We're doing a boat water. podcast. <laughs> we do have a boat. Yeah, you, you do have a boat. We don't yeah, want do. it. We're trying to get rid of it. Are so you really? We've never wanted it. It was basically our neighbor was like, hey, we're moving out. Is uh, it the cool Josh? So oh, they yeah. just gave you their boat? Cool Josh's? So, yeah. The thing was, so That's we cool. he gave us the boat for free. Yeah. We paid for the jet ski. Well, that was it. But it was wild. It seems like the boat would be fast as fuck. That's like one of those. It like, would be. Yeah. It. I don't want to test with it. <laughs> yeah. It, I wouldn't it, want to either. Take it, it out to like Balboa, baby. Be very fast. Yeah. I, it's not like a speed boat. It's definitely more of like a fishing boat, but that's like, it's a. You can go out to sea. It's meant it. to go out. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. not. It's not going to the lake. You could go to the lake in it. Yeah, I feel like I don't know speeds for boats. I feel like it's over thirty Nots. miles per hour. Yeah, how many nautical miles is it doing? Yeah, it's not. Fuck me, running. <laughs> that's as fast as I. Can. I think it's in like thirty miles per hour yeah. zone, which on the water is very fucking fast because you're like, it, it's just weird. But um, yeah, where were we? I've been derailed <laughs> oh, so it much. Was, oh, wrestling. It, it was fighting and learning yeah. new. MMAs. Yeah, Matthew is more calculated than me. Uh, you, I think the two. But that of doesn't you, that doesn't always work in the match. 
I I used to well, never. If we're yeah, well, like they boxing, they always boxing. say right, like when you get into the ring, it's like everybody's got a game plan, but then you get hit in the face, and then it's like, ooh, and that goes I out don't the window. have a game plan, and I'm getting hit in the face. <laughs> well, it's, it's a, so, so you're double out. Yeah, like, um, well, here's how I would explain it. It's like, yeah, you, you're like, okay, this is my best move. This is my go-to. This guy's kind of tall. This is where I'm gonna go, right? You go into I'm that, and then the, while he's talking, and then the guy <laughs> goes, in, the guy goes into it, <laughs> yeah. and then you have to change up your whole plan when he like does something that's just completely awkward. It's all about uh, not even thinking on the fly. It's more of just being in a pressured situation. No, here's my game plan. They say, ready, set, go. It's like, all right, good luck, good luck. Shake hands. Watch this. This is why we don't win Marco Polo. <laughs> yeah. And then when he goes to shake hands, I go, bah! Yeah. <laughs> that, that is, what is that called? That's, that's a, a cheap a shot. Cheap. Well, I think it's more than that. <laughs> Sucker punch. Uh, it's a lot of things. <laughs> and then we just go from there. We roll. We roll yeah, from there. He's rolling because you punched him. <laughs> I feel like someone would be like, oh, shit, I hurt him. <laughs> I would, so, yeah, and i've played enough games with sam and i've done enough let's plays and i've done enough fighting games where i just know no matter what i do how good i've gotten sam has practiced infinitely more than i have <laughs> that's and how you gotta beat him out of physical sport that's how matthew no i just the moment matthew gets into it, he's like me he'll research the fuck out of it yeah all right and boys so that's why it's difficult for me to have conversations because he has like the opposite set of tools against me. you're right yeah, though. see i think yeah, matthew, matthew is a researcher i always yeah. considered yeah. matthew i like the i remember telling people back in the day like when there was a period of time where matthew didn't play very many games like yeah. he was out girl chasing and stuff but there was a, a decent amount of time where we played constantly at home where he was i would compare him to being gohan and oh, i was like yeah, Goku. Yeah, i've said this before yeah where it's like I am better, like, I'm just better at games than he is, but he is much more willing to sit down and play the game constantly yeah. and constantly, and he has the potential to be way better, uh, but then eventually he goes to... Uh, gets bored he and gets does something. To, he moves on to He something. goes to college, and he becomes, he say, a man, yeah, 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 yeah. and, yeah, squanders it. Yeah. But, I mean, but like, he had the potential to be so much, because, like, he was always very close to, yeah. like, being as good as I am, and he was very good at countering the shit that, that I was doing. Is that why he doesn't play Smash Brothers with us? I'm I kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's too embarrassed to play Smash Bros. at it, this point. Okay. It was super fun because I remember it was me or you or me and Lewis and we would play Sam and we would just get wrecked. As you and, and Lewis. It well you were there too, Jose. Don't try to pull yourself out of this. <laughs> we're all getting dragged through the fucking dirt. Matthew would be behind just like, Oh, you guys are terrible. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, terrible. yeah, that's what, that's, that seems about right. Okay, well fucking Sam here. <laughs> I mean, it's just cheating his sword's longer. And it's like, thank you. Just welcome. Do you remember the one time he finally played? I think it was just you here. And yeah. Matthew finally was like, Hey, yeah, well one V one, we'll play in Smash Red. And I destroyed him. <laughs> and he literally he doesn't play for very long. Yeah. He'll get out. Yeah. You were saying, oh, he's got the patience. He'll go through it. Yeah. That's with other people. He used to. He, he used to. to. And it's like he still kind of has it now. If you can find a game that he likes, like like he he'll get really into games like, like World wow. of Warcraft. Oh like he'll God. fucking sit there and research the best shit over and over and over and look all the shit. Up. The obsessions he's... with a lot of stuff you'll see. Like if he starts doing something, it's like oh yeah, I looked it up. It's like I gotta do this. Yeah. It's like I like to just play the game and yeah. just like start yep. playing it over and over. Me too. Yeah. Um. But Matthew is much more willing. He plays it. He's good at it. And then he'll also research all the shit that you need to yeah. do. Yeah. And he has like both the combination of like dexterity to apply the knowledge because mm -hmm. me. I can learn up. I, I like. I could probably have a degree in coffee. I could have a degree in fucking World of Warcraft too. He will be able to apply all that shit. And I'm. Just, I've been playing for fucking almost well over a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, well over it, like yeah, fifteen like years, right? Fourteen years, I think. Like, like on and off. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and he came in for like a year and was on par with me, if not better. Yeah. And he would shit. Like I remember, we took a break and he was playing. He got me back, and that's why I'm playing now. I forgot a couple mechanics. That dude roasted the fuck out of me. <laughs> that sounds so like that, it. That's the other issue with him. Mm. He becomes so infinitely toxic, not because he just, that's how he is. It's because he knows. Yeah. He, he has every right. He has <laughs> earned every bit of that knowledge knowing full well. He's like, and your argument is like, well, I didn't know. He's like, well, I didn't know. And I had to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, at this point yeah. in our life, Matthew and I, we don't play very many games together because we play very similar in play style. So like, we're good if we're on the same team or something like that. If we're playing against each other, it gets really toxic. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because start we both play really mad very at each other. similar. Yeah. So it's like we both do the same dumb shit and the same really cheese strats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it gets super toxic. It's like The last game I remember when we all played together was Marvel vs. Capcom. And that started yeah. fist fights between you guys. Yeah. 
Well, All not right. between me and Matthew. It was it's really, you and Danny. Yeah, me and Danny, and then Matthew and Danny. Matthew and Danny. Uh, that wasn't a safe household. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> no, we would be playing. Toxic. Controls would start flying, yeah. and then I'd see Danny run, running at you. Yeah. Fucking Hagar would come out with <laughs> yep, a pipe. And it was done. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, put the pipe away. I'm going to fuck you, you up. Forget the evolution of it. Danny picked Amaterasu, who was cheap as fuck, because yeah, he was not hit OP. him because he's on the ground. It's like playing Yoda when he was in Soul Calibur. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's yeah. like he's tiny. Um, so you couldn't hit him. So I finally found, I don't even know who the fuck Hagar is, yeah. but I finally found the perfect counter to Amaterasu. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And it, he just does like a sweeping hit from the ground. It's just like, it fucks <laughs> his day up. So it was like, he was uh, just permanently on my team from then. It's like, turns out if he's the last person on your team with X factor, he does insane fucking damage. Powerful. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to stuff that I didn't know. Yeah, I remember buying that game and we all quit after. Yeah, yeah. I literally Everyone spent was like, $60 no, yeah. on it to play with you guys. Who okay. bought the loot, the Soul Caliber that we played for that all of a me. night? That was him and it too. Was like, it was me, and I remember we would just play yeah. meticulously. Remember like, when we would? Uh, we thought Lewis was lying that he was good at it, and then he yeah. started yeah, doing tricks. Fuck? And we're like, what the? He fuck? got me in trouble at a at a field trip. You know, I remember for business camp, we went to Golden West College, which is the college we went to. Yeah, we all. Yeah, but me and Danny and everyone else split off. We walked through the eating cafeteria. area yeah. and there's an arcade there used to and be and lewis said something like i bet i could beat your ass in tech and i was like <laughs> nah it's like that is not words you can normally speak to someone. Yeah. it's like nah you can't he's like you want to play so <laughs> as people were walking away we dipped into the arcade and we got in trouble yeah. for that we got in a lot of trouble he oh. did beat me <laughs> no we, what, those are two trips you went to golden west a different time i think we went there a second okay. time and did like a. the second time was with uh the entrepreneur class i think yeah, and yeah, then and uh, I got the, to go. yeah the first I time did, was, i wasn't in okay. business the, class. the first time was uh, just um it, no lewis wasn't in business it was probably like accounting or something yeah well what whatever the time was but yeah some some sh- uh i don't know because uh, sh- i was w- i was with yeah. you guys and then i got distracted because someone yeah. pulled me away and then i'm like sam well, lewis, to play because yeah. you guys so we were just doing a tour but then you yeah. guys like right after that you went into a classroom to do a class and like oh where's sam and lewis <laughs> and it yeah. Was like, uh, yeah we're fucking in the arcade and it's like so some chaperone came back some really old lady and she was pissed Fuck. she's like you little fucking shits. What are you guys doing in here? Damn. It's like, you guys need to be there. It's like, you guys are going to be in so much fucking trouble when you get back. And she was like cussing like that. I was like, Wouldn't damn. Have flown in 2020. Yeah. So it's like, we went back. Dude. And we, we just kind of like sneaked into the classroom. Like, as she like let us back. And then when we got back to school, Mr. Keating was like, so you guys know that you have to stay with the class. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's like, just, I understand that the, you know, it's easy to get distracted, but you know, it's really important really, for your they dragged you next to an yeah. arcade and you're yeah. in high school. Come the <laughs> yeah. fuck Sam. out. You were not even old high school. He used to call us GameStop in yeah. his class. Like uh, wherever we would say, it's like, Oh, GameStop back there. So it's like, what does he expect? Yeah. Sam. So- I kid you not, Lewis got me in trouble when we went to UCI with Business Academy. Yeah. Oh my God, he's I'm sure. No, to see a bad we scene. went, and then they're like, "Oh, we're gonna have lunch at the Irvine Spectrum, but we're only gonna be there for an hour, guys. So make sure you guys sit down and eat and do whatever you want." Yeah. Lewis was like, "Oh, we'll be here till the end of the fucking last class of the day," and I was like, "Really?" Was I there because. You didn't go. Is, you hated going on on stuff. We went somewhere. We went to UCI for the walk. Yeah, w- yeah, that no. was a different one. We went on a field trip and we almost got left behind. The buses were oh, leaving. Oh, no, yeah, it was me, you, and Lewis then. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. see, Lewis did it again because okay. he's like, let's go on a hot topic and buy yeah. something. We yes. went across the street from the college. Yeah. This confirms that Lewis is the worst with information. <laughs> Every Cause, time. Because well, I remember we came running back. To the bus, right? And the buses were leaving. Yeah, yeah. Brian like, had to call me. He's like, Jose, where are you guys? That's stressful. Like, and we weren't on the bus and they were leaving. Mr. And King Irvine, was, to a high schooler, you're fucking in a different country. Yeah. yeah. And Mr. King's like, boys, uh, you guys know you guys aren't supposed to, like, go too far away. Like, clearly we didn't give you guys enough time to hang out. But I love Mr. King. And he was yeah. like. I'm going to have to write you guys up. I hope it's okay. <laughs> it, it, it's okay. He never did. He yeah. never gave us detention. He what was so guy. sweet about yeah. it, though. He was yeah. just like, I'm going to scare you guys, but I'm not really going to do it. Because I remember that. I remember you and I were the only ones that joined Business Academy. Yeah, because everyone And else. it was just because they promised field trips. Yeah. Yeah, I really regret yeah. that. And it was like, yeah, you get to take field trips on regular school days when nobody else gets to go. Yeah. and That's right. They yeah. sold the shit out of that, <laughs> and dude. I, I, I don't know. I don't even think we were in the same class when they came to pitch. Not the first time. The, so so I think yeah. just we hung out and it was like, hey, did you guys hear about that Business Academy thing? You take field trips and only me. And you got to do an entry uh, essay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like a, a short, a essay, short like essay, 400 words. Like, why like you'd like to join Business yeah. Academy. So it's like, I remember just you and I were like, should we do it? It's like, let the And I'm like, free I think they said, fuck everyone else. Yeah. So they're not going to be on the filters. They're going to be mad. And it was the best decision. Yeah. Seriously. Yep. We were like, yeah. yep. Because after that, we did the first year by just you and me. And then I think JJ too. We went to JJ Oakley. Too. 
Yeah, JJ's um, in the first business. But JJ and then dropped. after that, like you could join the business academy classes without being in business as an academy. Class. Oh, so then, like you guys started joining because yeah. like yeah, fucking field trips, dude. It it's dope. like because we went to Oakley the first year yeah. and it was super cool. Yeah. I remember being. Super, that's where me did we take Danny? I feel like we might have taken Danny for I some reason. I think somehow Danny got yeah. onto it and went with us, and then. uh we got Starbucks and Danny's like, Oh my God, this is our thing. We're going to have uh, <laughs> vanilla fraps. Yeah. And he was, he, he still loves that to this day. And he I'm sure they still it. do lots of field trips now. Like, yeah, they go to better I, stuff now. I yeah. think if I had to summarize like the group's collective high school experience, it would be Yoshiyama jokes, mm. business Academy Fuck him. and Ottman. Yeah. Why and Ottman? She fucked all of us. Ottman really was very uh, near and dear to a lot of you guys. Not to me. I, I, I had Ottman. Miss Ottman was so cool. She had something with you for some reason. <laughs> she, like, <laughs> she saw this. Tall. I had her for literally probably. Half a class. It was you had her like, like two, like three months. weeks, right? I think I had her for less than a month. Yeah, it was yeah. like a couple weeks. And she had you on Facebook, and yep. she liked. She, she hated the fuck out of me. Yep. I had the most class time with her. Well, no, Matthew, I, I had her for three years. Matthew had her, and she remembered me. She was like. Oh, are you Sam's brother? It's like, uh, she loved, how? She I, loved Jamie and she loved JJ. So she's just like, well, Josh and uh, Jamie were together. Fuck too many guy. J's. Sorry. Yeah. Well, well my freshman year, she taught freshman English for oh, a bit. Didn't someone have her the whole That way was me. Through? I was had that her for you? Because oh, the yeah. only year I didn't have her was uh, sophomore year when I got yeah. uh, sent to Miss Morris with Danny. What dude, was like Morris was the best. Dude, she, yeah. dude I heard oh, such oh, great things about her. Dude, she, we watched, what was that, Roswell? For like three weeks straight, we, she didn't teach a single Morris thing. Morris is the best, man. She's so nice, too. I could, So I had Danny for the first half, and then he transferred, he and then he was yeah, in York. He, no, he was in Bruckner Chang's with me. <laughs> okay. Because oh, okay. I was in sophomore year, Because right? it was me. Yeah, it was me, Danny, and... Oh, wait, um, so I didn't have... No, Danny was, got switched into my uh, history class. There we go. That's it was me, was Danny, and... Uh, what's that guy's name? Na? Or, like, oh, oh, yeah, Na. Yeah, and it was us three in that class, and Danny switched out. Because I remember Danny and I, we had to like do a presentation on a book. And we did like Batman versus Superman. Yeah, the yeah. So I was presenting, and he was walking around like a showgirl, showing everybody <laughs> the class. I just make sure going. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Danny is. I dude, our group projects. Whenever like in college, we did a group yeah. project together. A couple of them. Me and Danny did a group project together because he had to bully me, and he wasn't bullying. Yeah. He was like, "Bro, I'm gonna do it by my own, myself. I won't. We won't be in a group together." I was like, "Fine, okay." And the day of, hey, but I forgot. Um, you mind just adding my name to PowerPoint? <laughs> and I was like. You we used to do that to it. JJ in entrepreneurship. We used to be like, hey, yeah. JJ, did Well, it was it? so good because, like, I'm totally fine with that because, so in business, you do the project, but then you also have to present the project, yeah. like, 100% so of the time. one person would do yeah, the work. One, one person would do the work, and then yeah, we just present. I guarantee you, JJ loved that. Yeah, yeah, he did. So it's like, he would do it. A lot of times, I'd be paired with JJ, and then JJ would be like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. And then I was like, I'll present it. It's yeah. like, so I'll just read it really quick and go up there. Yeah, so uh, this is our project. Dude, I loved having Danny in my fucking entrepreneurship yep. class. That was so much fun. Yeah. Man's a meme. Yeah, Dude, we a meme. fucking keep hey, it every so day. Hey, so guys, what's up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and then just forgets everything. Yeah. If you see the slide. <laughs> <laughs> How was your physics class with him? You had physics with him, right? Dude, physics was, oh, there is this one. I wish I could have taken physics just for the fact you get to go to a roller coaster. Do you get not safe? Yeah, oh. I didn't enjoy that. Physics day. Oh, really? The Archival was one of the coolest teachers. He was so legit. I he always heard that about Archival. Yeah. I never had him. I So physics was one of the first classes where I enjoyed learning. Like, because basically what happened, I, I went to Fountain Valley the first year. Year and, and a half, I think. First year you came and back half, in the second semester. Middle of sophomore yeah. year. And I was behind. Like, I was super, they did six classes a day. All of your classes are every day. They're only an hour, so you had homework for every class yeah. every day. You guys are on block schedule three and three. Hell or yeah. Three and two, however it was set up, uh, depending on your schedule. And Me and Tommy had three and two. I was like, I came into Ocean View. You guys were like three months behind me. So all the stuff that I was struggling to keep up with, I was I knew. So I came in super smart. And I've always been like smart. I above just average, stressed yeah. out. Yeah, I would yeah. say above average. I'm not smart. Um, but... Yeah, I I came into that and that that was fucking. You came rough. into a, a and, hot mess when you first joined the. But crew. I feel I feel like that's something it, but special. I didn't learn much, you know, yeah. like if you can find a teacher that actually makes you enjoy learning, it's like damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah. He was. I would send him video links of cool science happening. Like uh, I remember seeing the first time where they, you put um essentially it's like a super you put a magnet into sub zero temperatures like dry yeah. ice and it'll float. Um. I forget uh, how it does how it works, but essentially it doesn't need to connect it. it um, and obviously I have, I'm out of it, but I sent it to him and he would 
send me an email back and this is like totally off school time he would just be like oh yeah i think it's because of this yeah yeah that's dope i would would send him like some links and he would find it cool and he would bring stuff to class and demonstrate i remember so did we all go to visit you didn't did you yeah he did that's where we met him how dare you (laughs) sorry i can never remember who goes to what fucking school so we uh we all went to the same middle school and then obviously high school but we all Um, didn't know each other no i knew of sam but that so was a, there he, was a, uh, a science teacher in Vista, uh, and Donahue? Donahue, maybe, maybe yeah. the old guy that the old, the old yes. biker, yes. yeah, yeah, Donahue. Like weird, so he was a vegan. I, he smelled like asparagus all the all time. The yeah, time. the first half of that class, I did fucking nothing. I hated that class. I thought that class sucked ass, and I was failing it like and really. He like like, this yeah, yeah, she did. I was failing it really hard, and so finally I was like, "Fuck!" I started putting in work, so I had to go in to talk to him one day, and like, like, hey, it's like I'm gonna start trying to make up work and like really doing. And so I started like actually paying attention to the class, and I loved that class. He's, yeah, he was. Yeah, one he, of my was yeah, he was. I like cool. loved that. Was the one few times where I was like, "Holy shit, I really I like this have, class." I just was realized. Fun. Yeah. Did I ever have any classes with you guys in middle school? I think uh, we might have actually. Maybe. We had English. Yeah, we English. I really, wouldn't yeah. even know. I had a lot of classes with Alec. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I barely had Alec in no, anything. I just. <laughs> yeah. Docked. But that's but that's about it. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't even know if I had. No, you guys. we had PE. That's where I met you because I met Jose Pons in that class. Jose Pons was our mutual friend. That yeah. guy was fucking funny. He's yeah. the, he was he was the only motherfucker who bought the answers to uh we bought the algebra the algebra pre algebra pre algebra textbook, smart textbook guy, yeah dude. smart and guy. was selling it shit. yeah I, I remember I forget what he was doing but I think he's like pretty successful now like he's got a really nice job uh, yeah yeah no, it makes he, sense he was he was smart yeah. as fuck he's always been the kid that yeah. I thought would do well that's always nice when you see like yeah that kid is smart as fuck and it's like yeah he is smart as fuck like he it, he succeeded it wasn't he he was very I would say it, he's probably like an entrepreneur yeah if anything because yeah. The, like yeah oh he's selling stuff. He was doing something like considered illegal in the school. Like he would have gone to fucking no. Like, Parsec did not have a fuck. Matthew's friend uh, was Jason. I didn't know if I was going to uh, dox him or not. <laughs> but, yeah, but we just want to say last thing. So Matthew's friend Jason in middle school, they have homework passes, uh, and his mom is really into arts and crafts. Oh my so god! So he just bought the correct construction paper that they printed on no. and started printing homework passes. And he got in so much fucking trouble. The school you could get expelled from the Oof. school found out. He got in so much trouble. I think Jose was clear. Like he yeah. got because like literally because that's kind of untraceable. It's like you're not turning anything in except for homework. Yeah, um, yeah. Because basically, what he did, he he bought the yeah the, he, book, the homework pass sixty yeah. bucks yeah yeah, and he would photocopy the entire thing, make you a CD. Yep. And then it was ten bucks. It was five bucks. I think it was five bucks or ten bucks. And you literally uploaded your computer. And just copy pasta. Yep. It yep. was, and we had like homework. So the the thing that what Jose was saying with like Parsec wouldn't have given a shit. He had that book, and he would let you use it if you're struggling on it. He you would have to go ask him for it, and you'd have to turn it back in. Because he he showed you like he was really nice about it from what I yeah. heard. Parsec was yeah he, I don't think he was a great teacher. He was a he douche. Was he? Was I, he? I, I don't I, he, I don't I never had him so I don't remember. Yeah. He 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 ran the after school homework. Oh, like, for the homework super club. special kid. He was right? a douche. I, I had to go to that a few times. He was one of those guys where it's like, yes, you may go. Yeah, to it. And yes. It was always semantics. That's exactly him. Oh, and okay. um, but you know, I I did learn a lot from him. But I do agree. Like, if I were to say my favorite teacher in the eighth grade was Donahue, I think he was phenomenal. I remember really liking him. It was yeah. crazy, and because like like I was saying that first half. Couldn't give it less of a shit. Then I started paying attention. Like, holy shit, this is this yeah. is good. And he would bring uh, those Nova One show. Uh, TV yeah, thing, and I yeah. love those, dude. Yeah. I, would, I would sit there because I had Didn't Alec. Everyone have to take Donahue. He was the only. He one. He might have been the only one. Oh no, with Miss Martinez teacher. was there, right? Miss Martinez was uh, the other. Physical. Yeah, she was my yeah. homeschool teacher, or not? What if oh, my yeah. homeroom teacher? Uh, teacher. Uh, Your homeroom what, teacher. What, what, homeroom, homeroom. It homeroom. wasn't homeroom. It was uh, something. They, they it advised was an S. Advisement. There we go. Advisement. Advisement. Was that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. So she was my advisement teacher. So I don't think. I think because she was my advisement teacher, I had Donahue. Like they try to give you different people. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, okay. I had. Fu- I had Miss Huntington. I had Maynard. Oh, oh yeah, fuck. that was you, awful. Yeah, I remember. Thinking about it, really, there were not like in middle school, the one that we went to Vista View. Not a lot of great teachers they, at that school. And so, Did like, there's have- definitely a few that are really, really good. And then there's a shit ton did of stinkers. Did you ever have Miss Morsi for would, uh, seventh grade? Morsi no, was I did not a have good Marcy. person as a teacher. 
I don't. I, would, I don't. I don't Did she get fired? She I'm did. pretty sure she got she fired. Oh, and yeah. I think no she was. And it. And I, I have her on it, Facebook. Yeah, you I don't do? think yeah. it was fair. Oh. From what I heard, it, it sounded like they were. So like, I didn't have her for her. any class. I had her for math, and but, she was so legit. So yeah. she went on. Um, some field trip with us we she went on with to us the with. ocean institute yeah and so my i think oh i love that yeah. one and yeah. i think my dad it's all to, josh i think I know my where dad came or something for the ocean institute and he talked to her so then i met her and it's like but i never had her for anything yeah no i had her for a week actually they transferred me because one of our classes like our teacher was out for yeah. a week so we were in her class or something middle school is weird it yeah. Was really yeah weird it, it was kind of like going through divorce you kind of <laughs> you just know shit happened yeah. you yeah. you're starting to dissect it now but it was all fucked well, yeah it was cool do you remember rj i do remember RJ. The, and how the whole school hated that kid full metal alchemist guy right no that's no, edward that was, wait stop <laughs> we, we got the point across. Yeah, okay. I just, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I like, I, yeah. Anyways. Doxing. I'm preventing a doxing, <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, there's a whole other situation. Okay. Uh, he went to the bathroom, and Ms. Morse is like, everybody, stop what you're doing. No more homework. And we're like, what? Okay, it's like, everybody. Been why she got fired. <laughs> run to the, oh, we're running to the office, and she got pulled but everyone that's out. that's fun, man. Yeah. I remember I, everyone wanted to leave except for Ryan. I think she was the good feminist slash slash SJW. Like middle I school, I think she would have been that person that kind of. I feel like elementary something. school, you have a lot of fun, you play a lot of games, and you you do you do some learning. Yeah. Then middle school is like a nice little halfway where yeah, it's like that should, should yeah, be allowed, yeah. man. It's like where you start learning if, what you think you like. Yeah, it's like if you want to do a little fun joke and spice it up, like that's fun because middle school is boring. And then and high th- school is really like, all right, now we're let's now go. you're so, trying to become a hu- an adult. Study, yeah. yeah. And I I don't agree with it. I think it was poor. I think all of schooling was poorly done. And yeah. we keep it away from the channel. I, I don't want to bring politi- politics into this. Me and Sam have, have t- had talks about it. I'm super political on my side. And, you know, we'll have our debates about that. <laughs> but I, dude, when I start seeing some of these things and I start just doing any amount of research, it's like, dude, we got so fucked with school. Yeah, we got cucked like, on it. Like, you just so... I mean, and I think there's an outcry in America already about the whole thing. Like, we just got fucked. There's no good schooling. Hey. Like, we're just talking about our teachers. Like, American education system was good. is not that great. And it's like, it's sad to think that a lot of times the really good teachers, they were probably doing it, like, out of their own prerogative. Like, yeah. they were yeah. not just teaching the book. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, and it then you just add the whole equation of, like, they were not making the money they should yeah. have been making mm-hmm. for that stuff. Uh, I mean, like Donahue was fuck, like he was an icon at that school, even without going to his he class. Was cool. Yeah, he, he. Everyone knew who Donahue was. I wonder what he's doing now. I think he's dead, dude. Oh, like honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. He was Shit. really he was old. old. It was like sixty open? something. Oh, and that's been great. Welcome to the Otaku Podcast number thirty-four. Peace. So we are coming I will to kill the, you. We are we are coming to the end of the podcast. But um, well, I just like one. Do thing you want to do, do our ten minutes of anime? No, I don't. I don't really have. Any I don't have anything. I finished the Last of Us two. And which is tearing up the internet right is now. Is it really? Woo! It's. You Are you gonna spoil it? Because I, I don't care. I will spoil. Yeah. I don't care. Are you guys hit me with it. it? Do either of you care? No, I hit me with okay, it. Okay, well, let's hit. say a goodbye. I'm gonna give a spoiler warning. Let's give us. Let's give goodbyes because I think we're gonna yeah. lose all of our audience. Yes. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Bye, hey, James. If you guys are leaving right now, that was the Talk Podcast number 34. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be talking farther about The Last of Us to full spoilers. So uh, if you don't want to know much about that game, then play the game and come back. But thanks for making it all the way through, um, <laughs> yes. and uh, we appreciate it. Okay, so this is not spoiler to start off, but just my general feelings on the game. I would file it under the category things that did not to be me- need to be made. Uh huh. Right uh, next to Toy Story Four. Okay. So okay. Okay. Oh. It's up there on that shelf. Does it mean it was good despite being made? Um, no. It did not add anything to the series is what I'm getting at. Uh, I do not I did not walk away feeling any better from that. I did not walk away like damn. Yeah, that, that was hit, that, that, hit. that need to be so that needed it, to be made. Complete opposite of me in Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. 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 Because it was almost like the last of us implied that there was no more of us. So <laughs> for people who yeah. <laughs> he just now for that. people who don't know, I really loved the first game. The first I game was that, amazing. I think a, a large group of people. Yeah. I think that was one of my favorite video game endings of all time. Was the first was the first game. I don't even know how it ended. Um, I don't want to spoil it. You should play it sometime. Okay. But it's the first the one, one is like a fucking masterpiece. It's like a master course. And the company, the studio behind it, Naughty Dogs, is a yeah. very famous. Well, like you do Uncharted, like very story. Oh, I love the Uncharted story games. driven games. They've done. I think all the really good games that yeah. came out in the last decade were fucking. Familiar. So. 
they're good with stories. Like that's yeah. like the first game was a fucking fantastic story. This second game, I don't know what went wrong or what happened, but the pacing is all fucked. Like it just drags on. So they do this thing. Jose, have you played Devil May Cry 4? Yes. Okay. Wait, so, oh, is Devil May Cry 4 the one where they're where not? Where you first meet Nero. Oh, okay, where you first meet him. Okay. Purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So big spoilers about to come out. If you're still watching, big spoilers. They kill off the main character from the first game in about the first 20 minutes. What the? He dies. Okay. So I, I got in, really connected to that guy. Okay. In the in the first game, he is very like he's like an expert survivor, very mm-hmm, cautious, mm-hmm. knows the rules of the road, don't trust people, don't go into groups with people you don't know, they're going to fuck you, humans can't yeah. be trusted, da, da, da. like he is like a badass. Oh, let me guess. This game, he's old and trust. What <laughs> yes. Yeah. Aww, and what I, like I that. what I would think is like I don't know. So they fuck you because like the, the whole first game is between Joel and Ellie, the little yeah, girl. Yeah. And the relationship between them is so fucking good. It's like the best part of the game. They immediately tear that out from this game because he dies. Mm. So it, there's like some drama going on between them. Which I don't think – I think you would agree that's a good thing. Like letting yeah, I yeah. do, die. but I would have liked to have seen more yeah. of that. Like, Got you. A little like, bit more of the chemistry. That's why I like the first game. It's yeah. like let me see. And they try to fill you in in flashbacks after he's already dead. Oh. But it's kind of like it just feels like force fed. Like here, they like, like you could have played that. Like yeah, it's like take yeah, this. Yeah. Well, you play the flashbacks, but it's like uh, he's already dead, and it's like oh, none of this really has any meaning. Like I don't know what I'm seeing here. Oh, okay. So there wasn't build up. It was no. Just like, yeah. And it's like so they they set up this whole thing where Joel's hiding a secret from her, and she, you don't know if she knows. Does she know? Uh, she's gonna be pissed when she finds out. Um, he dies, and you don't ever get to see that confrontation until much later and so like the whole time i'm playing the game is like oh i can't wait till they drop the bomb of this secret on yeah. her uh, and then you find out she knew the whole time so it's just like oh, oh. What the hell? it's like okay well i guess i don't really care about that i guess and then they fuck you here's where i was asking about devil may cry 4 so in devil may cry 4 you start the game playing off as nero mm-hmm. who is this guy you've never met before your main character has always been dante and you play you fight against virgil that's like the fucking devil may cry fucking thing they've been holding that down so yeah. Four, you play as Vert, uh, Nero. Nero. You've never met him before, and they force you to play this new guy. And you fight Dante very early on. Like I think maybe first fight, you fight Dante in Devil May Cry 4. And then you're like, oh, my main character is in this game. Okay, cool. But he's kind of like portrayed as like a bad guy, like, uh, like he's fucking up this huh. religious city yeah, in yeah, Devil yeah. May Cry 4. And then for the first half of the game, you play as Nero. This character that you don't know, you don't oh know anything about. You know what that reminds yeah. me of? Yeah, fucking was... Kingdom Hearts 2. They made you play as Roxas for so, three hours. So in this one, you play first half of the game, Nero. And you end up liking Nero. Like, Nero's like, oh, a fun yeah. character. He's got a cool girlfriend. He's got, like, a cool devil arm. Like, I can get behind that. They fuck this up in this game where the first half you play is Ellie, which is the main character from the first yeah, game. Yeah. You play as Ellie, and you really like Ellie because, obviously, you already know her from the first game. Yeah. So it's like, hell yeah, Ellie and her crew going they to go switch. do things. And then they switch. So the setup for this game is Joel is, like, out doing a patrol with his brother, Tommy. And they save this girl, and you meet this new girl who is voiced by. There's a lot of critical role staff in this game, by the way, mm. which really took me out of the game oh, a Ashley, lot of the times. Right? Ashley, Ashley plays Ellie, and then oh. the other new main uh, chick is played by the chick who does Jaina. I don't remember her name. Um, oh, Mar- not Marisha Ray. What the hell? Why you guys yeah, know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Laura so, Bailey. Laura Bailey. Oh, so she plays the main, and her, she's good, but it's like every time I hear the voices now, and I haven't even watched that much Critical Role, it's like, it, it that is back. Laura Bailey and Ashley. It's like, I can it hear wild. that clear as day. Yeah. That's um, how I feel about dubs in general. Yeah. I can so always like, hear it. I can recognize it instantly, and it's like, oh, that's kind of kind of weird hearing that. Like, I can never really get out of my head. But, um, so Joel and her brothers, like, they're being chased by zombies. They save this girl who you see is like, she's looking for someone. It's like, oh, it's going to be fucking Joel. Mm-hmm. And so they save her and then she's like oh hey i got a cabin with some friends like we could duck out there and wait until and then you guys go back to wherever you came from and they're like okay which is totally not carried yeah yeah. no and then so he goes in and he walks into a living room and just lets them all surround him like they all take like positions around the room surrounding him while he's standing in the middle and they're like so what's your guys names and it's like yo he would like yeah never give out your name like no thanks and he's like oh uh, so his brother's like, oh, I'm Tommy, and that's Joel. And you see all their eyes widen, like, mm-hmm. and because just by chance they were looking for him, and they weren't sure how they were going to get him, and they just ran into him. And so Joel is like, you guys act like you've heard of me, or like heard of us. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I have. And then the girl walks up behind him and shotguns him in the leg. And the one that they brought him, that brought him in? Yeah. yeah. Shotguns him in the leg, and then you find out 
that he had previously wronged her dad and now she's pissed and she's coming back. I don't want to spoil the first game, but she previously wronged her dad. So now this random chick is pissed and is coming after him. Um, so, so they kill. They end up. But killing. if you had played it, are you going to say if you had played as her and saw her back? I think we should have. So what I'm getting to is, I think we should have played as the new chick first. Okay. And, saw, like, yeah, and yeah. like, yeah. honestly, don't even tell us that Ellie and Joel are even going to be in the game. Yeah. Like, let us play as this new chick because they try to guilt trip you afterwards. So you, they kill her, and Ellie shows up, and so Ellie gets like they basically they fuck up Ellie as well, and then they let Ellie and her and his brother survive. Because they're just there to kill Joel. And so they wanted to kill them because, like, no loose ends, which would have been the smart move. But then they're like, nah. It's like they get convinced, like, let's leave him. We killed who we wanted to. My girlfriend's pregnant. I don't want to, you know, yeah. upset her. I'm caring about new life. Let's go home. So they, they leave. Um, and so you play. Basically, the premise of the game now is you go to Seattle, where they're all hanging out at, and you track down and kill every single one of them, which is great. I love the premise for the game. Let's fucking do it. Mm-hmm. And then you switch halfway through the game so it gets to the point you go through all the way at ellie so tommy the brother goes ahead of you and he's killing some of them and you're trying to all yeah. you're trying to kill the people and find tommy at the same time mm-hmm. so it gets to like the climax where the girl you're looking for is the last one left she shows up at your hideout where you're using as your base for uh in seattle like a little theater shoots one of your friends has tommy on the ground with a gun at him and then tells you to drop your gun you drop it and then she points the gun at you and then it cuts to black rewind time you've been in seattle for three days that you've had to play through mm-hmm. rewind time to day one and you have to play for as the new chick from day one all the way up all to the that way point. to that midpoint and i could not have cared fucking less about that storyline i just wanted to see what happened to my character from the first game it was so and they try to fuck you because so here's a very cut and clear example i saw on reddit so i'm just gonna regurgitate this when you're playing as ellie you're breaking into an aquarium to kill a couple of the guys that were part of this group killing. And when you first walk in, an attack dog shows up, and you have to kill the dog. And so you, like, beat the shit out of the dog. You've been killing dogs the whole game, by the way, but this dog, like, you beat the shit out of him, and it was like a one-on-one, and you fuck fuck up the dog. The very first thing you do when you turn turn this new chick is you see that, oh, look at this cute little dog. I love you, dog. And it's the dog you killed. So the way you're saying this, I I agree with you. If you had – I think they could have – made you do a flashback basically like you play as the girl how everything went down how her father got fucked up you do that as a flashback that is in there if you if that was the start of the game and then you meet joel yeah and you find out that he was it and then you're the one to shoot him in the leg yeah and then you switch back to ellie i think that would have been cool and i think if you had done because i think the reason they did the you guys are killing them and now it's flashback is they wanted to show both sides of the thing if you had gone back and forth i think there would have been a cool dynamic because you would have seen here's our plan and then here's our plan and then you see oh fuck their plans are gonna line up well it's like it creates a cool thing the way they did it there are cool moments in it like there is stuff to the way they did it that makes sense but it would have worked just as well the other way around yeah i get like like if you literally just invert it i think you could have had the same thing like the climax that i care about was there and then they took it from me and i had to play through another half of the game of shit that I don't care about. I could care less about her friends. I've already killed them. Yeah. Yep. It's like, what do I care? Yeah, it would. I wonder how many, like, uh, say there was eight friends. Yeah. You killed one and then you were in, like, you switched to the next one. That guy's now dead. How is your group handling yeah. it? Handle something, go back, and then it, it would have been slower to well, get like, to the gratifying, but it would have ended it's there. It's so weird because, like, so you get to Seattle and these, the they're part of an organization called the WLF. And they're fighting with, like, some religious fanatics that are also trying to take over Seattle. And so they're butting heads. And then you're there kind of, like, trespassing as, like, a third party. So you're, like, sneaking around fucking shit up. The whole time on the other story, they don't know that you're the person killing these people. So it's, like, through the whole story, they're, like, oh, yeah, did, uh, Danny died. What? It's, like, Danny died. Yeah, we don't know what happened to him. You know, he had a bunch of stab marks. It's, like, I know what happened to him because I did it. Yeah. Um, But that would have been such a better payoff because they literally the, – the story with the new chick – they don't know it's Ellie. Yeah. So it's like, they're just like, oh, that's weird. Like, so you're seeing stuff that it's like, oh, I've so already seen it. If it, it don't had been the other it. way where it's like you're playing as this new group of people, like, oh, I guess it's just a new game in the Last of Us universe. That's kind of mm-hmm. cool. And so you're playing these new people and they, they keep mentioning like, yeah, somebody like killed Danny. Like we think like the religious people got in there and killed him. And then you find out really it's been Ellie the whole time, like walking around fucking blasting people. That would have been way more infinitely more cool. And then it's like, 
would you have allowed a flashback of now Ellie playing that side? Like if you played the whole game up into that point, and, and then having it, to go back. And yeah, play I think that yeah. would be cool as fuck. That would have been better. So I think. If it was character? like if I played through the whole game as the new chick, and then at the end there was some saw level flashback yeah. where it's like da na na. And you see how Ellie is sneaking around killing fucking everybody? Because I'd be of like, what they did? Hell yeah. Okay. It's like, fucking get him, Ellie. Yeah. Because, like, as someone who played the first game, you love Joel, and then you see them kill Joel, so then you're on the train with Ellie, like, yeah, let's fuck him up. Yeah. yeah. Fuck those guys. And then it gets to the part where you're going to fuck him up, and then it cuts away. And it's like, it, yeah. and then the, the new half sucks. They, it, like, the game drags. And then you finally get back to your confrontation, the big final confrontation, not the end of the game. What? Huh. It still goes on for probably another hour. Okay. After that, this is just like when we were watching Django, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like both me and Mary are like, oh, dude, maybe 15, 20 minutes tops yeah. opens up. We're not even exactly yeah. halfway through. So it's like, there's this. They try to do this classic thing. It's been done a million times, where it's like revenge is not the option. That's kind of like the big morals. Like nobody wins in revenge is basically what they're getting at here not because really, no. they both get fucked up constantly, and it's like it's not a good look. So. Uh, the new chick eventually defeats Ellie, like mm-hmm. in this big confrontation in the theater, and she's about to kill her, and she has a ch- young child with her now too, and sh- and the child's like, no, like like what are you doing? Like her name's Abby, so it's Abby and Ellie. So, at so Abby's about to kill Ellie, and the new little girl's like, what are you doing? It's like you're a good person, like don't do that. So she's like, you better not let me see you two again. So they leave, mm-hmm. and Ellie's fucked up. Abby killed one of her friends. Uh, the brother got shot into the fucking dome. Um. And then it flash forwards like two years or something. And Ellie has a farm with her girlfriend. They, they're raising a baby mm-hmm. and they're just hanging out, having a good farm life. And then someone shows up at the house and it's Tommy, the guy who got shot in the head and he's still alive. I don't know how this happened. They were in Seattle. Magic, mind you, dude. So I don't know how they made it back to where they were from, from Seattle without him bleeding out or something. I don't fucking know what happened. So he's just got a gnarly scar and he basically shows up and he's like, yo, I found her. Like, I know, I know where they're, they're hanging out. They've moved to California. They have a sailboat. They're down there to do and who knows what. It's like, we need to go get her. We need to get her now. And he's like, I can't go because shot and I got a limp. But it's like, you said you were going to get her. Like, first thing you said when we came back was how you're going to make her pay. And she's, so now there's like this, oh, well, I have a family now. Oh, yeah. Family. Yeah. But it's like, I don't want to. And then, so we all know she's going to, but then we have to play through this long fucking, they make you play through that. You're walking around, you're herding sheep. She's got PTSD of seeing Joel die. So she like starts screaming and then in the middle of the night, she starts packing her shit, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to California." Iron so Man then it, dude. you cut back. You play as Abby now. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I'm telling you, the pacing. I honestly think if they fix the pacing, it would not be super bad. I think the story was kind of shit. Um, I'm just gonna was- fast forward here. Abby is searching for uh, some fanatic group that she used to be a part of. She finds them. They're on Catalina. So she's like, oh, yeah, nice. She gets them by radio. She's going to go over to Catalina because they're in Santa Barbara is where they're at. Oh, wow. So she's going to go over to yeah. Catalina. She walks out the garage and like a biker gang beats the shit out of both of them and captures both of them. And they're basically running a slave plantation over in what looked like San San Capistrano. San Juan? Oh. Uh, yeah. So they're like on a little plantation thing and they let, they're like using them as slaves and stuff. So then you play as Ellie now showing up to California and you're tracking her down and then you find the same biker gang who trap you and they're about to tie you up. But then you fucking like finesse them and get out of there and you kill both of them and you force them to tell them where they are. Oh, because it was only two of the, yeah, people, yeah, the biker yeah, yeah. gang. But when Abby yeah. was getting jumped, it was the whole biker gang. It was like four for Abby. Okay. But by the way, this is important to note. Abby's built like a fucking ox, by the way. She, she's described oh. as not. She's buff. Oh, she shit. is Damn. buff. Like she would beat her ass in a hand to hand combat. She beat Ellie's ass. Oh, shit. Um, so like she's like she's like talking to this guy and she's like, I'm looking for Abby. Like, have you seen Abby? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abby, uh, really strong, like blonde hair. And she's like, yes. Like that's what I'm looking for. Bam. So apparently it's been three months since she's been captured. And she's still at that place. So you go there and you basically see that she, they're using them all as slaves, like physical labor yeah. slaves. Hmm. And so you sneak through, you kill a bunch of people. You finally go to where they're keeping all the slaves and they're like, Oh, you're looking for Abby. It's like, she tried to escape. So they like hung her out, out back. So you go out back, and she's basically, like, tied to this pole. Like, she got her like hands like this up. and, like, like a survivor game almost. And her and her little kid have been stuck out there for, like, weeks or something, just tied to this pole. So you find her, and she's still alive, like, on this pole. And so you cut her down, and then she goes to cut down her little kid. And she's like, come on, I know where the boats are. So she starts leading you to the boats. And uh, Ellie is bleeding, by the way, because she got fucking stabbed. So she's got, like, a stab wound that she terribly stitched up. 
and they get to the boats. They're about to go separate ways. There's two boats, very metaphorical, two boats pointing yep. different direction. And so Abby loads her kid into the boat and Ellie is about to get on the boat. And then she sees like a flashback of Joel, like, like a quick little flash of Joel. Mm-hmm. And then so she turns to Abby who now looks like shit, by the way, cause she's been being used as a slave. She's yeah, like yeah. malnourished and she's not nearly as buff anymore. They chopped off all of her hair. Um, and, and Ellie's like, you have to fight me. And Abby's like, no, it's like, I don't, I don't want to fight you. It's like, I just want to get out of here. It's like, we're escaping from a fucking slave plantation. Slave, yeah. So they're on a beach about to get into a boat. And Ellie's like, no, you have to fight me. And she's like, I'm not going to fight you. And then, so she throws Abby away and walks over to her boat and puts a knife to the kid. And they're like, you have to fight me. And so Abby's like, okay, okay, okay. I'll fight you. So then you fight Abby while you have a knife and she has nothing. So you basically like slice her up, like slice and dice constantly. And you eventually win. There's some back and forth. And you start drowning her under the ocean of water. This is the very end of the game. You start drowning her under the ocean of water. And then you have another flash of Joel. And then you decide to just let her go. And she just goes her separate way. Okay. Then you go your own way in your own boat. You go back to the farmhouse where your family was. They've packed their shit up and they left. And so she goes inside and she plays a little song in her guitar. And then she walks away and the game ends. Huh. That is the ending of the game. Okay. That and her family is gone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so they, cause, cause she left and they didn't want her to obviously cause they're raising oh. a family. And she was like, sorry, I have to. And then the, she was like, well, I'm not going to be here. And she really wasn't there. So it's really just showing you know, like that old thing, you know, it's like eye for an eye leaves everyone blind, you know, whatever. Yeah. So it's like you, you, they both came out really fucked up, but Abby came out infinitely better. Yeah. Infinitely better. Cause she's just going to go straight to Catalina with her boys and have a great time. Yeah. And yeah. Ellie came back and it's fucking nothing. Um, so they do that, that and it's heavy though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't though because the whole game you're probably killed about a thousand soldiers trying uh, to figure out where the fuck these pricks are. So and then she makes a moral high ground decision like, no, nah, you can survive. I'm gonna let you survive. Uh, what about the hundreds of other people that you killed yeah. on the way to get these people, and then you just let her live Why at the she end? Just kill her when she was hung up. Yeah, seriously. Like at that I point, yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm not. I'm not saying. Yeah, it, it it sounds like a grade A uh, inconsistency. It plot. was super unsatisfying, and I don't remember the movie being unsatisfying. But I'm gonna relate it to like The Dark Knight, where you know, like the Joker gets caught, and it's still got like another hour left. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Film. And then it's got a fucking yeah, the Harvey Dent stuff. So it's like that, and it just goes, and it just goes, and they make you play through these parts, and it's like I do not care about these parts. You cannot skip these parts. Oh, look, there's a love triangle going on with this new girl. I don't care. Mm. Like, let's just fucking move along here. So it's like I found myself on the last, like, half of the new girl just trying to speed through it. Like, let's, like you're supposed to take it really stealthy, really slow. You're supposed to look for parts and, like, upgrades and stuff. I'm just fucking hauling ass. Like, let's go. Can I just run through these bad guys because I'm just going to haul ass? That's rough. Yeah, it was. And it's like. Just not enjoyable. Yeah, but it's like I really like the gameplay part of it still. Like the like game mechanics, and it's everything. fun. It's like it's a well built game. Not yeah, then the graphics are crazy well good. Like it's game. like one of the last good yeah, games yeah. that are gonna be on PS4. Yeah, you know, because like it's coming to the end of the generation. Yeah. Um, so it looks fantastic. The gameplay is still the same old gameplay. There's a couple of parts that were just so repetitive. Maybe you want to blow my heads out. Yeah. Um, but it Both was of them. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. The top and the bottom. Oh. So it was still good, but it's like the story, and it's a super story heavy game. Oh, it was just. And the story fell flat. Yeah, that's so sad because I heard so many things happen about the first to, game. That's yeah, great. the first game was phenomenal, and the second game was just fucked left and right. And I'm wondering if some of that got pushed into. Yeah, because I remember it got delayed. Yep, I remember it was like indefinite delay. There were leaks and shit, and there was some other stuff that it happened. was just like you know the mechanics in the game are so good. It's like I think but did they copy them from the first? Yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same so, thing. So. And it's like they try to do – so I'm going to relate this to Devil May Cry again. So in Devil May Cry 4, you play half through Nero, and then you switch to Dante. And you play the game in reverse with whole new powers. Yeah. Like you're doing whole new shit. You can't really do that in a modern-day setting because you're just switching out the guns. They just mm-hmm. give you new guns. Yeah. yeah. It's not that fantastic to get new guns. Like, oh, that is a good point. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, well, makes sense. If, if she's built like an ox, you know, maybe you could have had more like grappling techniques. They're both stuff. strong. Like, yeah. like oh, Ellie's they're, strong? Yeah, 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 they're both. But she's like really built. But Ellie's like stealth killing people all the time. Like fucking yeah. grabbing them by the neck and snapping their necks and shit. But it's like. They I wonder just, if they could have just taken that approach. They are just too the similar. Batman, the Arkham approach? 
Like Whereas, one, one's good at like manhandling. Oh yeah, yeah. Where it's like Nero, you have a totally different set of abilities across the board, and he's got a cool devil arm. Dante's got like a million fucking different versions of a gun that does yeah. everything. So it's like they're so different that it's okay being like, okay, now play in reverse, and yeah. like that's that's good. This is like, okay, now switch this chick. You still got a pistol, a shotgun, a bow. The the, uh, the same. The usual setup, and then most of the times it's more. Uh, beneficial for you to just stealth anyway. So it's yeah. going to be the same gameplay throughout the board. That sucks. It's just like, I don't know. I just think they needed someone to come through and really fix the pacing of the game because holy shit. So you think if, if you fixed the pacing, kind of reversed it, it would have been... Flipped it and then, I think yeah. here's if you had flipped it. If the story remained the same, just how they went about telling it. It would, it would have at least been okay. Change the pacing because it would have set up your expectations. Yeah. Because once I switched from Ellie, I just wanted to know what happened. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was here for in the first place. That's what I wanted to know. I did not ask for this new chick. Yeah. But if you switched it and I played new chick from the start, like, okay, I guess that's who I'm playing as. I get it. Yeah. And there was no reason for it. There was no payoff. Yeah. To it, give you and then it's like that. if I switched from the new chick to Ellie, I'd be like, oh, now I get to go do all the killings I've been hearing about. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be kind yeah. of cool. And then it's like, yeah, that's that's the good part. But it's like, nah, it's just not there. And then it's like they should have – there were a couple of times where I feel like they could have given you a choice on, like, what you wanted to do. Like, mm. kill this person, not kill this person. Oh, I get you. Like, actually um, give you the And they just – they force you to kill said person. And it's like even at the very end, I feel like it could have been a very quick, do you want to drown her? Or do you want to let her go? Oh, and you could have yeah. chose the yeah. ending. I think that that would have so, been a little because they could have yeah. they could have done the same cutscene across the board. Just change. Does she get in the boat or does she fucking drown at the beach? That yeah. would have been one quick change, and then you could have still had the same exact cutscene of Ellie going back to the farm and nobody being home because yeah. you still lose. But you just you've you've killed her. Congrats. Yeah, because. Yeah, because now they they paint it. Oh, well, she took the moral high ground, but what? Did but, it she cost but she didn't. But, but what did it cost her? Yeah, and yeah. they threw out the rest of the. It's stuff like Thanos says, that man. What well, was like the? the I am an advocate. No, uh, the the toughest dif- decisions often require the biggest sacrifice or something. Oh, what did it cost? Yep, what did it everything. cost? Thanos said it better. So. Yeah. He was such a well-made villain. <laughs> yeah. There's so was there were so many flaws in his fucking his way. Like, oh, why don't you just give more people yeah. food? Blah blah blah. But, like, the way he went about telling his story, like, I don't... Great. Think I think was, it was great. Yeah. I don't think they did a bad job at all. That's rough. That's rough, bro. Because yep. Sam was, like... I remember, because he was playing it when I came over to finish the, the things upstairs, and I'll, I'll try and make this quick. Uh, he was playing it. You have been avoiding spoilers <laughs> like the fucking plague. Yeah, Sam he was pretty spoilers. mad, yeah. That's, two, that's one thing different between you and Matthew. Matthew does not give a fuck. Yeah. You give so much of a fuck. And you had it spoiled before I showed oh, up. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well, I've already spoiled it. So yeah, 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 you, yeah, you're you fine. had a part spoiled for yourself. As I was playing the game, I spoiled it for me. Yeah. Because we were trying to – so it – actually, I should have told it earlier. Because when you were talking about trying to come over to build the shelves, you were texting both Matthew and I because he wanted some of your tools <sighs> for his mounting thing. Yeah. And so a cutscene was going and it went to black. So really quick, I checked my phone to see like what was being said. And then I missed like the first part. And then all of a sudden, Ellie was a little older. And I was like, did they time skip? Or is she just looking older? It's like, I can't tell. Yeah. So I wanted to go back. A lot of times before a game comes out, they'll do the first 20, 30 yeah. minutes or whatever. It's like a teaser. Like, oh, look at the first 20 minutes of this game. So I Googled um, on my phone on the Google app. I Googled uh, Last of Us Part Two first 20 minutes. And when you do that, it auto puts like the videos first. Like they put yeah, like yeah. eight videos or something. The very last one in that row, and I just wanted to find one, and there wasn't one that was really like fitting the bill. Turns out, first 30 minutes, there's a lot of those. So, if you're looking to see the first 30 minutes, do that. So, but first 20 minutes, there was like a lot of like, oh, Last of Us, let's play part two. It's like, well, I don't know where that's at, you know. So, it's like, I'll just skip past that. So, I just scrolled down to see what my options were on the top eight. The very last one was Abby Kills Joel, Last of Us Part 2. Spoilers. Damn. And I was like, dude. And you I was. have no fucking chill. And it, but it's like Google auto completed that, like, as a oh. recommendation. Like, and it wasn't an auto complete. Like, they physically recommended it. If you search The Last of Us Part 2, first 20 minutes, it comes up as a recommend, recommended video for you to watch. I'm like, dude, what the hell? This is frustrating. So I'm trying to. I just had a quick question. As far so you knew it was Joel as soon as you saw him, like when he. he yeah, yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel's yeah, very identifiable. I, I knew there was like a time yeah. difference. Because I'm, I'm trying to think if they, if you played it as the new girl, establish why she like had this hellbent, and then you find Joel, like 
are you now starting to sweat saying or like was it how i don't know how you go about it do you do you sweat I oh would no tweak she's it. found joel this I, is bad or do you make it this unnamed character has done some wrong to me i'm going to fix it you end up playing for a while find joel yeah they would have to change the pacing altogether yeah but yeah but it, no no i'm saying, saying yeah. like how would that reveal go because you have to either not know it was joel the whole time that did it or not know you just found Joel. Well, it's like they try to get you like that in the beginning of the game where they're like, oh, you think he's in there? Like, yeah, I'll report something. It's like, it's Joel. Why are we yeah. Why are we playing this game? We know we know it's Joel. It's like, because those are really the only two main characters from the first game is Joel and Joel Ellie. Joel and Ellie. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, you know. But I mean, like, if you're playing completely new as a, a new character. If they would have. Establish, I don't know how her dad If got they would about. have run a, like. But the problem is they're not really assassins. It's almost like they went out to assassinate Joel is, like, what the setup is. Mm -hmm. But if they like they if they if would have shown, like, oh, this is something that they do. They look for, like, high-priority targets, and they take him out. And so they let you play through one already where they're like, oh, you think he's in there, and it's not Joel. Mm -hmm. And then let's say, like, a couple down the line, you're like, oh, we got another assignment. We got to go get yeah. said guy. And then it is Joel. I'd be like, oh, yeah. okay. I think that's one way. I was, But I don't know how much she was affected by what happened. Like, if you told the story from her perspective. He killed her dad. That's it. Well, no, I get it. But yeah. how did she know that? Is it just like, was she in the room? Did she see She it? wasn't in the room. She ran in afterwards and somebody told her. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah. first Last of Us must play. Masterpiece game. Second Last of Us, not so much. Yeah. So still, I would say a decent game. Um, I played through it all in a couple days. It's really good, but um, does not pay off or reward you at all. So yikes! Yeah, I'm, I'm, right. I see a trend with that with a lot of yeah. games nowadays. I don't feel like they, they. It's more to keep them playing. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's call it there. That was Talk Podcast 34 officially done. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you're still hanging out, like and subscribe. Time two, um, and we'll be back every Wednesday. And we'll do another Jump to Zuka Mangaku this week. And then regular, and then one, next regular one next week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're reading whatever Soul Liquid Chambers up there. Yeah. Yep. And uh, with that, thanks for watching. See you next time.